Hi folks, welcome or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. Sorry I was doing a video for my other channel and I don't do that intro so now I'm here it sounds weird. Anyway I'm catching up on the ones that I missed when I was poorly so we've got the huge Zara Tryon haul, Stephen, is that a misel? Collection Fall Winter 2023. I just can't wait. Shall we jump in? Hey guys, today we're going to do $2,500 worth of Zara. First, junk that's been made in a sweatshop by people being paid peanuts and is going to end up in a landfill. First of all, this sweater that I just wore in a video, I think it was last Friday's video. I love this sweater. I didn't know that I liked, mo no, it's alpaca. It has alpaca in it. I've gotten where I like the mohair sweaters and stuff too. I just really do love a luxe, really nice sweater. I love the ones that are oversized. One of my favorite looks is a sweater with sweatpants or joggers. I think just the mix of the two. It's not a look, it's a comfy outfit for slouching around the house. Stop trying to make it more than it is textures and the two looks just gives it a different vibe but it's still so comfortable it gives you a different look than a sweatshirt with a pair of sweatpants if you'll put a sweater on with those it just is different and then another thing i actually had on to wear today is this little sweatsuit i wore this to my past trip to dallas i wore it on the plane with a blazer that I'm going to show you and I loved it. Now I know not everyone is a fan of the cropped style but even if you just got the sweatpants I think you would love these. The perfect fit, the perfect thickness, just everything. I think you could put them with your sneakers, with your boots. They do have a tie but it is an athletic look but in the coolest way and I did get a... Oh, How far in are we? 1 minute 22. And I want a thumper already. Lisa, let me tell you, people, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people get up every morning and put on clothes. They do not put this much effort into thinking about putting a jumper with joggers. It's just a natural thing they do. Am I slouching around the house today? I'll wear this. Am I going for an interview? I'll wear that. It, it's not, I don't know what goes on in her head. It's not as, what's the word I'm groping for? Not difficult, not important. It's not as important as you're trying to make it out to be. People have been getting dressed for years without your help. Size medium, and I will say I have washed them and completely dried them, and everything still looked I great this hope morning. So I just too. thought this outfit is so much better, and I wanted to show it to you. And I liked that so much that I went back and got the black set. Now, this looks so short, but these come up pretty high. So there's only a little teeny bit of your skin showing. And I don't think I would wear this without a blazer or a top coat or something over it. Like I said, even if you just got this one. Peace off. You're the woman that goes out in a blazer and a bra. And now you're saying, oh, I would definitely wear something over this just because it's showing a slither of my tummy. I don't think so. We don't believe you. Na, 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 na. <sighs> Sorry. I know this sounds horrible on camera doesn't it? when you're putting on hand cream and thing. I shall be done in a second. Right. Now I need to clean this because it's covered in stuff. I'll turn this off and I shall do some cleaning while you watch Lisa in peace. Wet pants, I love these. They're very similar to the Gap that I got last year. They're kind of thick, but I think they're still thin enough that they're not bulky. They don't make you look like the Michelin Man and you can wear them with boots. You know I love a blazer and I think you do too. This little cropped blazer. I'm sorry, I just saw that and I thought, is that for your niece? <laughs> Little teeny tiny blazer. 
laser is just gorgeous. Look at that little extra detail. It's like, what is that term? Grogain fabric coming out of the bottom. So it gives it just a little extra something something. I would pair these with your jeans and even your sneakers or your boots. This would look good over so many different. It's a jacket. It'll look good over anything. We don't need you to tell us what to wear it with. Things. It's got a great weight to it, which is going to make it hang really pretty on your shoulders. It's going to make us look like we have really good posture. I just really love it. This was something I was looking forward to. And it's going to make you look like you've got good posture. Most women out there have good posture. I don't think I have posture anymore. I've spent that long sat in a bed. I, <laughs> I look like a 90-year-old when I'm going to the toilet, so I can't say anything was not a disappointment it even has that little detail above the pockets and look even in the back so you could make this very dressed up and chic or you could put this over your white t-shirt with jeans and black boots and it's just going to be perfect i think everyone no matter your age would love this i think that would look good over a, like a not a night dress but a proper dress going for an interview I think it's a cute little jacket. I like it. But do you really have to buy two and a half grand's worth of stuff? Really? See, her nose there. You, the dark mark isn't there anymore. What's different between this video and the one I did earlier? It's weird. Yes. This is another that is a little dressier, a little bit longer, and it has these teeny tiny teeny. little studs on it. Now this, of course, is going to be a little bit dressier, but if you are conservative, you're a conservative dresser, you don't typically wear rhinestones, sequins, feathers, all the things that I love, this would be something good to get for the holidays. This is just going to give you that little bit of extra something to wear over to like when I think of like New Year's Eve and Christmas and the holidays, I think of going to family get togethers. I think of going to neighbor get togethers, neighborhood get togethers. I know when my kids were little, a lot of parents would get together with the kids, things like that. Put something like this on with your jeans or you know me i would put this on with a nice pair of like a cream color pair of jeans would look really good a pair of slacks would look good but i would if i put dress pants with this i would wear it with sneakers just try to offset you don't want to that's how you would wear it most people don't want to do the edgy thing as you call it they want to look like they've thought about what they're wearing and they haven't just grabbed three things out of the cupboard or out of the wardrobe without looking. I'm gonna go all dressy or all casual. I think it makes an outfit more interesting when you mix it up a little bit. And I even think it makes an outfit more interesting when you mix high-low brands. I think that just gives it more style. This is something I have down here because I used it to style some of the pieces, but this is that blazer from Anthropology with the beautiful sleeves, you guys. I have to say those three blazers i'd buy them not the oversized nonsense that she normally buys but i would buy them they're cute but i have nowhere to go so i don't unlike you lisa who has nowhere to go and still buys it all i just can't express to you how pretty this is and that's kind of what i wanted to focus on is things like this that you can just add in your wardrobe and they give you so many more possibilities and i just think this is a great piece and i wanted to share it with you again this little jacket i love it but it how many has she bought fuck's sake threw me for a loop the first day i had it out to wear for you and i didn't realize that it only buttons up here at the top. So then it leaves you with what to wear underneath. I think I ended up putting a white, no, an ivory color tank top underneath it, but I'll be honest, I wasn't quite satisfied. I'm still searching for the perfect thing. And I was thinking maybe I shouldn't have tried to match it that much in color or style. Maybe I should just put it over a white little boy Hanes t-shirt or something like that. And maybe it would look better. If you have any ideas, let me know because I really... Oh, and I thought you were the fashionista. You're supposed to be telling us what to wear it with. I must say when she held it up first, it looked like a waiter's outfit or a chef's jacket. I really do like it. I love the look. I love the 
shoulders, the structured shoulders, don't be scared of the structured shoulders. They will just make you look taller, younger, because as we age, we start- Oh, stop that as we age thing. That's why I stopped watching Tammy. I was sick to death of that as we age, as we age, as we age. This drops off, that stops working. We don't, we don't go to YouTube to find out that our old age is going to be fucking miserable and we can't do stuff we used to be able to do. Getting the rounded shoulders, just more confident. It just improves your look in every way, no matter what your age is. And I love this collar, just gorgeous. So Kate Moss, but in like a cream style. This reminds me of something she would wear. This is a top that I wore with one of the outfits too. Just a little top from my friend Denise opened a store in Chicago called Circa and she made this little top and named it after me. Oh my gosh. I, I would almost say this is the hero piece. So why have we jumped from this little top that was named after you? Why aren't you giving your friend a proper shout out? Why was the, the, why have we jumped? Did she not name it after you and you assumed because it had Lisa in the title it had to be you? Then you found out it wasn't you, it was her mum or her aunt or something, I don't know. Why have we jumped? <laughs> of the entire hall. It is magnificent. It is this, I guess you would call it a pea coat. It was $129 and the quality is amazing. I have- What's a pea coat? It's a coat. Kind of been collecting the high-end blazers and sport coats over the years. And I will say you just? this fits like they do. It feels like they do. It is just amazing. It has beautiful buttons that aren't tacky. I love the collar. I just love everything about it. And I- <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking then my mind wanders when she starts babbling on and I'm not listening. I wonder if she'll have an umbrella journey, you know, like her leggings journey and her everything else journey, because she doesn't own an umbrella and she's always moaning about getting wet in the rain. Maybe that could be a thing, because that's a thing you haven't bought. There's a thing you could buy hundreds of thousands of. I did get the medium, but if you don't care for the oversized look that I do, just get your typical size. These were That's what people are gonna do anyway, stupid or just a little bit of a letdown. I do think they're nice. They're sequin leggings. They're very thick. They're more like a ponte pant and they do have this little rhinestone thing here down the side. It says leggings, high rise, and they were $45.90. I don't think they flatter my shape. I think that I just have such a long torso that it kind of accented that and I felt like a bullfighter in these. I just didn't feel... Yes, because, stupid, you're supposed to wear longer tops with fucking leggings so you don't show your lady garden. Have you not figured that out yet? Therefore, you would not feel, feel like a fucking bullfighter because you're not supposed to wear a crop top with it. Good. I think I've said this before. It's better to feel good than to think you just look good. And I don't know if that makes sense, but if you don't feel right in your outfit, even though you think everyone else is going to approve, it's going to impress other people, then don't wear it. You've got to feel good. That's why some days you will see me wearing something crazy. And then the next day I might be wearing leggings and a big sweater because it just depends on how I feel that day. But these, I just wasn't crazy about. Okay, this is just my little black waistcoat vest from Zara. It's still available. I wanted to show it to you again because it comes in handy so much. I wear it so much. So I wanted to show you again. These are what dreams are made of, these pants. These are what dreams of, are made of, really? Really? I can't say I've ever sat here in this room over the last 12 years and thought, if only I had a pair of those trousers. I'm telling you, just get them. The weight is amazing. They are a thick, nice weight. They have the little bit of ribbing to them, which is so forgiving. And I did size up to a medium. Now, 
with Zara and a lot of places, I just am between a small and a medium. I mean, I could wear the small if I wanted them to be tight, but if you want them to be a little bit more versatile so that you can wear them a little bit dressier, I would get the medium if you're my size. But these are just going to be just like power pants. You can wear these with that little jacket that I showed you. You can also wear it with like a denim jacket, a moto jacket. You can wear it with any fucking jacket, any top, be it t-shirt, fucking, I don't know, jumper, sweat, sweater, whatever. You're just saying the same things over and over and over and over and over again. Can we have something different now, please? A sweatshirt, a sweater. These are going to be like your once a week pants. And if they're too casual for you to wear, like to work or wherever you're going, they can definitely be your weekend pants that you feel good in. I love the flare at the bottom. See how it's flared, but not crazy. Some of those flare pants are just like so tight and so tight all the way down to the flare. It looks like a costume more than it does a pair of pants. These are just flattering. They have a great flow. You have to get them. This is another one of those little tweed blazers that I love and it's very, very soft and pretty would look so pretty over like a sweater pretty, dress pretty 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 like a cream even what, a what are them trousers because they look like a plastic bag what are they it's a neutral and it's just a little bit longer it has the nice little shape to it it has beautiful buttons they are silver and i just think it's a nice little jacket is it the most exciting no but we don't always want that big exciting piece. Now I do think this would look great with like the Gap bow leather vintage slim pants that I showed you a week or so ago. Put this with those and a white t-shirt and your boots. Then you're ready for the girls night out, dinner night, things like that. So it is very versatile. It's just very soft and pretty. You're ready for a girls night out. When I went out on a girls night out, we went to the pub, we went to karaoke, we went to discos, so we were dancing, we were partying. I wouldn't be wearing a tweed jacket. Okay, these jeans are so good. They are crazy, but in the best way, and they fit so well. When I put them on, I was like, oh my gosh, they just hung perfectly. And I did get the size six, they're mid-rise, full length, and as you can see, they have like these little clear sequins on there, but it's kind of like a coating on the denim. Plastic. Now, I know this is a little much to wear on a day to day, but we've got holidays coming up. We've got parties coming up. We've got family get togethers. We've got. Have we though? Really? Have we? Because I don't have any parties coming up. That was one thing about QVC that used to drive me fucking insane. Oh, it's party season. Not for fucking everyone. <laughs> uh, weekends, out with friends, all of those things, I think this would be perfect. Or if you're like me and you just like to have a little something special, I just love different kinds of denim, printed denim and different styling, different seams. I love these. They're more comfortable. They're not as, I mean, they've definitely got a coating on them, but they're not hard to wear. I just think they're really, really pretty and I love that they're gray. Okay, another one of these little conservative jackets. This one is the type that does not have buttons. It's a creamy color with the black and I was thinking this would look good with your black jeans. For those of you that are more tailored, more conservative, you're not interested in wearing sequins or anything like that, then this would be why does she say that really condescending like there's something wrong with people who don't want to wear sequins and feathers and fluff? A really good way. I mean, like you can even see this with this gray denim, how pretty that looks. It would definitely look good with a creamy pair of dress pants or even 
a creamy pair of sweatpants and a white t-shirt and just your sneakers or something like that. Just use this as a, just a pop of style. And I mean, it's not very expensive. Oh, Things like this, these little Zara jackets. This one's $89.90. And I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. You could definitely still wear it with regular colored denim or black denim, those same gap pants. I'm telling you, those pants you can wear with anything. If you didn't like the shape of those gap pants, the faux leather, or you loved them so much, but you might want something similar. These are our favorite, like marine jeans, sailor jeans. I don't know what they're calling them today. I think they were Halloween jeans. They look weird. We're calling them sailor, and I think on this tag they called them marine. But these are the jeans. Yes, marine and sailor are the same thing, aren't they? <sighs> I'm playing my video on the telly and my paleo game and I've got my fancy watering can that waters nine squares at a time. I've been demoted to the standard one that does one at a time and it takes forever now to do the watering and I want my proper one back. It just pinged all of a sudden and disappeared and they've asked me 10 million questions but they haven't given it back. <sighs> that I have in pink. I have these pink. in, I definitely have them in white. And then I think I have them in like a green color. They are so flattering. And these little pants will go with anything. They will go with boots. I tried them on for you with boots and I'm not as crazy about that look because I like a little bit of ankle showing, but I know some of you live in places. Why that do you need your ankle showing when you've got your tits out? That is not possible, so I understand. Maybe wear just like a V-neck sweater underneath your jacket. You're the one that's got the hang up about needing skin to show. Not everybody else has. With this, a little bit of skin showing just always helps. They're amazing. I would say these are a must get with the black pants. And I really love, I think one of the jackets. Just pick the best one and that will just really give you a good little, oh, I would say the black jacket with the little thing coming out. That's the most special to me. This is just your everyday blazer, the medium, but this is the more fitted style. So it has the like little seams and tucks right here. Remember the one I got from Aritzia, the Pamela Anderson blazer? This is similar to that. It's not quite. So why do you need that one then? White as nipped in, but it's definitely not going to be your boxy. I said she went. I've just got a flashback of her in that jacket where she was walking up to the camera holding it out, and she just looked like she was going to do a curtsy for the queen. Be oversized, and that is the reason I ordered it is to be able to show it to you guys that don't like the oversized boyfriend type blazer. You want something that's not really, really fitted kind of in between that's what this is so this is i think it's a great deal too for 89.90 and these things everything on zara is 89.90 have you noticed it's really weird i mean these blazers will last forever i have some in my closet that i have had five years and they still look amazing this dress you guys this is the dress i wore with the white cowboy boots from walmart and, and it looks stupid me automatically think of this dress with those boots but I just thought gosh those boots are just so pretty like I know that they're funky but they're not a really stark white they're just kind of like they are a stark white and they look stupid with that dress milky creamy white and I just thought these would look so good with a long dress I had this dress that is gorgeous I mean we need eyeshadow this color don't we it's just beautiful you have eyeshadow that color millions of them everything about it and it's not hard to wear because it doesn't cut down too low it has like forgiving little ruching there it does have a slit so you're not walking like Morticia I love it. The season it is, we're not gonna be wearing this with nothing over it. So I would put on like a faux fur or like that long black jacket. You can style this so many different ways. It's just like your slip dress. Put a sweater, like a cardigan. That would look really good. A really nice luxe cardigan over it with the boots. That would look beautiful, especially if it's big and chunky and a little bit long. And then you have this underneath and you have the two different textures. Oh my gosh, 
that is gorgeous. So this is just a winner. I've already taken the tags off of this. This is staying with me. These were slightly disappointing. I definitely could have worn the smaller size in these. And they are, I think I've already taken the tags off of these. I've already worn them. But they are size six. They're low rise and like a boyfriend crop. I'm still gonna play with them, but I definitely like them rolled up better. I always loved like acid wash black jeans. You know, I have like a little bit of rock. I've always liked, I've always liked, I've always liked. Sick of hearing it, Lisa. It's funny how we don't remember you saying you've always liked. It's only recently you've always liked all this stuff just so you can try and sell it onto your minions. <sighs> rocker chick in me and I just I really did like them but they are low rise so it is a look this has mohair all over it because I did try some of these things on with some new Nawai sweaters that they sent me oh my god you know I always say this I never really look forward to fall and winter but with fashion, I do. Like with boots and these sweaters are so beautiful and luxe. They remind me of like being in high school and going out in the winter time. And sometimes I would borrow my mom's sweaters and they would be really nice and fuzzy. They're just nice. And so I wore one of those with this and you can see it got mohair. I read that I could put those in the dryer for a little bit and it would help with that. But this is that Steven Mizell collection. This is the big blazer that I wore to Dallas and I wore it over the sweatsuit. Well, many of you said that it was way, way too big. If you don't want it to fit like that, then just take your true size. I got the medium and I probably could have worn the small, but I have to tell you, I love it. I love it so much, like if I did order the small, I would keep them both. This is so nice. This is not your average blazer. When I was out of town in one of the like really high-end stores, someone asked me, was it Golden Goose? Because they have like a really nice blazer like this. It's above and beyond. It is a little bit more expensive but it's kind of like a coat. It's very, very warm. So I love it. This you guys have probably seen if you follow me on Instagram, but this is that suit that I wore at the Like to Know It conference in Dallas. And I wore it part of the day. You look like a little girl that's borrowed her mum's suit for an interview and it doesn't fit. Day with a pair of heels and then the rest of the day I wore it with sneakers and I love it. It's just perfect. I did get the medium and the pants are medium. I Could I have worn the small? Probably, but my waist isn't really small. I'm so straight and my torso is so long that pants don't really go up to my smallest part. So that's why I get medium a lot and I just really like things to hang and kind of swing and everything, but a lot of of people are more fitted I understand so that's why I always tell you what size I'm wearing I loved it and I got so many compliments on this suit my goodness we were shopping and everywhere I went I got a compliment on this suit I also wanted to show you the padded t-shirt that I got from Zara a while ago I do think they still sell these they keep them on the website kind of like they do my favorite bodysuit and it's just a great piece to have and then Is that just for you they keep it on the website this dress, I don't know, there's just something about this dress that is so old fashioned and vintage and a little bit Mad Men and just a little bit Lana Del Rey. I don't know what it is. Brooke, my daughter who's 23, 23. and a Lana Del Rey fan loves this dress. And it is so different. I don't know if it looks good on me. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think, but I love the color combination, the way it's subdued and just, it's just amazing. I love it. The back just has this open. Let's see how much it was. Let me try and guess how much it was. Was it 89.90 perhaps? I got the medium and it was $39.90. Oh. Another silky slip dress. You guys know I just love like feminine, silky things. I just do. And this is how I get my feel of that. This is not as nice as the taupey one. Not by a long shot. This satin is a little bit more satiny feeling. It's not as silky. It's not as... 
Because it's satin, probably. Smooth, it's not as heavy, doesn't hang as pretty. I did try it on with the boots just to see, you know, how it looked and I do. You look like you've got mortician boots on. Still like it and I do think those boots are a great way to take something like this and make it just a little bit more casual. It's something unexpected. Those boots, I mean, they're more comfortable than a pair of Nikes. I'm not kidding. It is unbelievable how comfortable they are. So I do love this. I mainly love the color and the print. And I love the design, but it just- So what? I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. So why, what's the problem with it then, huh? wasn't as pretty on. I think if the fabric were a little nicer and it would hug the body a little bit more, but you'll see, it almost makes my- Stop grabbing your boobs. Boobs look bigger and stuff because it just didn't hug like the other one does. Good old bodysuit. I do not expect everyone to want to wear a bodysuit just right by itself. I do, I get into phases where I do like it and then I don't like it, but there is no better layer than just a good old black, nude, white, brown, tan bodysuit. Put on whatever jeans and then, then go and look at all of your jackets, all of your sweaters, all of your cardigans because you know you can put anything on and you're gonna look good. That's how I feel about the bodysuits. So this one is just one that has an interesting neckline something a little different, maybe kind of like a cap sleeve. Very flattering, I like it. I wore it yesterday, all day. I got this small. It must have said that I take a small because I do try to go by their size chart and I loved it and I think you would enjoy this. And then last but not least, this just gorgeous monster here. It reminds me of my cat Bubba. It is just beautiful. It is a little pricey. It's from that same Steven Mizell collection. This is designer quality. And if you live in a place that gets cooler, now I'm not saying this is for zero degrees or Toronto or anything, but somewhere like here that can be high in the 40s, high in the 40s. It is a little pricey. It's from that same Stephen My. That's hot isn't it? 40 degrees. It's hot where I come from. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else. Azale collection. This is designer quality. And if you live in a place that gets cooler, now I'm not saying this is for zero degrees or Toronto or anything, but somewhere like here that can be high in the 40s, high in the 50s. I just love to throw this on with a pair of jeans, boots, and I might even only have to wear a t-shirt or a bodysuit and put this on. Go out for the day, feel good, it's fun. You get to feel girly and glamorous for the day. And everybody else in the town is looking at you asking what the fuck is going on. Day and then put it back up. It's not like it's an expensive, real fur coat. And it's a statement. It's a fun statement. You will get... Right. It's a fun statement coat that she might wear once in a blue moon because it's never really cold enough for something like that where she is. So let's find out how much this once in a lifetime coat is. What was it? Something Mizell? There we go. $229. No, but that's not that. Wool blazer. It says it is, but it's not showing it. But 230 for a I might wear it sometime coat. So many compliments. People love it. And this color combination, I think, is amazing. You know, I couldn't go without bringing on some boots. Look at these. Are they not beautiful? Very similar to the ones I showed you from Walmart. About, I would say these are probably four or five times as much because these are leather. These are, I would say, slightly easier to wear because there's less white and they're just a little bit classier looking. Very, very model off duty, very comfortable. I did get my true size eight. I couldn't wear any smaller, but there was definitely room for socks. 
just beautiful. I mean, look at that. I think fall and winter boots at Zara, if you get the right ones, are better than their summer shoes. And you'll notice a lot of celebrities wearing Zara boots. They're just good, especially when you want something kind of funky like this. But these with black sweatpants, like the thin. Going back to Big Brother, that I'm waiting to watch after this so I can see who got evicted. Last week, um, Zach got evicted and he he's a model. And he models for ASOS, ASOS and Zara and all those places. And it was like, when he came in, I'm like, I've seen him somewhere. Where have I seen him? And it's like, ah, oh, when I'm looking on the website to see stuff she's bought, I've seen him on there. It's funny. ones Or black leggings and a big sweatshirt and just your big puffer, so cool, so comfortable. Is that what the models off duty have been wearing in all the pictures you've been looking at? Where you got the idea from? Perfect for your fall festival, your hay rides, your pumpkin patch, all of those things that, believe me, I have been. I've been on the spooky hay ride many times. These would be perfect. And then these. I tell you, harness boots are back. If you have been any style of boot never went out of fashion with me since we were all obsessed remember the mm and l show i miss those girls but i remember when they showed those fry harness boots i have the black ones and the brown ones and i have just about worn those out i have treated them like snow boots like rain boots i love them and i'm so glad i haven't gotten rid of them and i really do like the fry harness boots too this is kind of like that, but with the Western toe, a little bit more of a Western edge. So these are almost like a little bit riding boot, a little bit cowboy boot, a little bit moto boot. They're kind of like all of that wrapped up into one and they're very, very comfortable. And then the last pair are these. These are, I call these model off duty boots. Remember? You call everything bloody model off duty when I showed you that picture and I said I want a pair of boots like that if you see any can you tell me I love the ones that have the seam down the toe like that and are painted. And. and then look at that just so practical heel a little kitten heel not too crazy not silly looking just a rubbery bottom now these aren't <laughs> leather I don't want a rubbery bottom thank you very much and they're not $200, they're much less expensive. But I think we are gonna really enjoy these. I think they're very oh, versatile. These with your distressed jeans and a sweatshirt. Instead of wearing the sneakers, wear these boots and you are instantly elevated in style. You instantly look stylish, you stand out. And I love that. I want you to be comfortable. I want you to feel like yourself. I just want you to experiment with maybe little things like this. And I think it's gonna be rewarding. I think you'll enjoy it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost forgot to show you this outfit. Okay, this sweater. This sweater is from Zara. Remember these pants that I purchased in the medium? Well, I wore them with a another big sweater that I got from Zara, and I loved them so much that I came home and ordered them in the small. You guys, these pants are so fabulous. I love just the whole silkiness, but with the exposed seam, I love the way they look with a sweater. The other sweater I wore is a V-neck. So I had some skin showing. See, so, Lisa, look at you now, right? Long top, silky trousers, lady garden covered up. That's what you're supposed to do when you wear leggings. With this one, since it goes up to this funnel neck, I wanted to have just a little bit of my toe showing. So I put on some nude like mules, but I understand if it's cold where you are and you can't wear mules with your pants, then put on some boots or something and maybe do a V-neck instead. But I love these pants. I would, if I were you, I would get them. Even if you wore them with a t-shirt and one of these little blazers or a sweatshirt, I'm gonna wear them with a sweatshirt. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Wow. Have we all taken notes? Have we learned what we're supposed to wear and we're not supposed to wear now? Right, I'm going to watch Big Brother. Thank you if you've got to the end with me and I will catch you in the next one.